Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video on uh, source three series RLC circuit, and here we'll be solving uh, two problems. So let's revise. We had learned that S1 can be written as this, and S2, the two roots of the characteristics equations, and the damping factor alpha is R over 2L. And the resonant frequency omega naught is 1 over under root LC. So if you have difficulty following, I would recommend that you uh, check the previous video. And then we had also in the previous video found out that there could be three current equations for the circuit. If alpha is greater than omega, which is an overdamped case, then we use this formula. If alpha is equal to omega, which is a critically damped case, then this is the second formula. And if alpha is less than omega naught, which is an under damped case, so in this case we get oscillation, so we have this formula with cosine and sine. And uh, we had also discussed uh, uh, problem solving strategy. We will follow the same strategy. First of all, we will find I0 and V0 for t less than 0. Then for t greater than 0, we will find di dt0. Also for t greater than 0, we will calculate alpha and omega. And based on alpha and omega, we will select the current equation. And any unknown in the current equation like S1 or S2 or WD, we will calculate that and then put and get the general equation. From general equation, we'll solve to get A1 and A2, the two unknowns. So let's see. This is the problem. In this case, we have to find IT, current IT through the circuit. Assume that the circuit has been, has reached a steady state at T0 minus. So T0 minus means before opening of the switch, the circuit has reached steady state. Okay, so the first step is the for t less than 0, we have to find I0 and V0. So, this is the circuit for t less than 0 means this is connected. This will open at t is equal to 0. So, this is our circuit. This one connected here. And since the circuit was in a steady state and therefore we can say that the capacitor is fully charged and it is now behaving like open and inductor is behaving like a short circuit. So the next circuit will draw will be something like this. The capacitor is open charged to an initial voltage. We call that as V0 and the inductor behaves like a short circuit and the current through the inductor at t is equal to 0 or t is equal to 0 minus is I0. So from here we can calculate I0 because there is no current in this so this is the only loop available to us. So 10 volt supplying 4 ohm 6 ohm so therefore I is 10 divided by 4 plus 6 1 ampere. And now what is V0? Now we have to be careful to understand this. Any voltage present here will be present here. And since this is open, so that voltage will be present at this opening. And so that voltage will be the voltage appearing across 6 ohm. We know the current is 1 ampere. So 6 multiplied by 1 will be 6 volt current, which is equal to V naught. Okay, now the second step, we have to write the KVL equation and then I put T is equal to 0. So let's see, this is the circuit before, now when we open it, this is the circuit and we can see that the current in the circuit is flowing like this. That means same current is flowing through 6 ohm and through 3 ohm. So we can add them, we can say that these two are in series, so we have added them here. So the total resistance is 9 ohm and then we have inductor and the capacitor. 
and now we can write the KVL equation in this loop. So KVL we can write from here uh, it is RI L D I D T and minus V naught or V C. So at t is equal to 0, i t will become i0, so r i0 plus l d i0 d t and minus v c t is actually v naught which we uh, found earlier the value at uh, i uh, t is equal to 0. And we had found out i naught as 1 ampere and v naught as 6 volt. Remember this capital V naught and small v naught they are same. So we plug in the value of the current r is 9 multiply by current 1 l value and this is minus 6 so from here we calculate that di dt is equal to minus 6 amperes per second. The third step is that we calculate uh, alpha and omega for t greater than 0 circuit so again this is the t greater than 0 circuit and this was what we found out. So from here we calculate alpha. So alpha is r over 2l, r is 9 and putting in the value of l. So alpha is 9. Similarly omega naught is 1 over under root lc and putting the value of uh, l and c, uh, the value comes to be 10. Now based on the value of alpha and omega we choose the equation for current. So alpha is 9 and omega is 10. That means omega is greater than alpha or alpha is less than omega. So when alpha is less than omega this is an underdamped case and we had given in the previous video this type of an example that the man is alpha and the female is omega so when alpha is light or less then she can play around or dance with this gentleman so we get an oscillation case that is sine and cosine terms so this is the equation that we will be using we had also uh, now in this case we would like to know the value of wd so we have to calculate wd wd is given by this formula so putting in the values WD is 4.359 and so from here now we can write the IT equation complete e raised to the power minus alpha t alpha is 9 so we put 9 here 90 a cos omega d is 4.359 and similarly a2 sin 4.359 t. So this is the general equation and now we'll try to find the value of A1 and A2 from this equation. Okay, <clears throat> now we come to step number 5, we have to find the value of A1 and A2. So this was the equation. Now here also we have to do two things, first of all we put t is equal to 0 to find one of the equations, so we put in t is equal to 0 we get this term, cos terms, cos 0 becomes 1 and sin 0 becomes 0. So we get I0 is equal to A1. And now we have already calculated I1 to be 1. So we can say that A1 is equal to 1. Now to find A2 we have to differentiate this with respect to T and then put T is equal to 0. So for differentiation we will follow the product rule because there are two terms. This is one term here and this whole is second term. So this is what you get. We have first of all differentiated the first term. So e raised to the power minus t 9t will give you minus 9 e raised to the power minus t. The second term remains as it is and plus we keep the first term and differentiate the second term. So you get an answer like this and now we will put t is equal to 0, so this was the answer 
and we put t is equal to 0. So the sine terms, uh, cosine terms here will become 1, this will become 0, this will become 0, and this will become 1. So we get this term. And now we had also calculated the value of di dt at t is equal to 0 uh, for the 0 conditions. That was minus 6. So di dt minus 6, we we'll plug in here minus 6 and on the right hand side of this equation we know a1 to be 1 so a1 was 1 plugging in that so we get a2 to be 0 0.6882 and from here we put in the values of a1 which was 1 here and a2 which is 0 0.682 so this is the final answer or the complete solution now let's do the practice problem also. Again, the pre this circuit has reached steady state at t0 minus. And before, uh, make, before break switch moves to position B at t is equal to 0, calculate I0 t uh, for t greater than 0. So <clears throat> you may not, have, may, may not have heard of this make before break switch. This has actually two uh, leaves. When we are switching this here, so there will be some time or some gap between switching. We want to avoid that. So we have two leaves. One remains here. The other leaves moves here. The moment the other leaf touches this one, then the second also moves there. So that is the condition. Uh, um, case for make before break switch. So this will help uh, the continuity and no wastage of uh, energy because the energy is stored in the inductor and very quickly it can get uh, <coughs> wasted or it can become diminished. Okay, so for t less than 0 we have to find I0 V0. So this is the circuit for t less than 0. The inductor will behave like a short circuit because it is in position A for a very long time. So the current in this case will be 10 divided by this 10 ohm resistor. So 10 ampere. So I0 will be 10 ampere. And since the capacitor is not connected, therefore the voltage across capacitor, which we call V0, is equal to 0. Okay, now step two, we have to write the KBL and then find di dt. So let's go to the circuit here. Again, we just follow the procedure that I've, we followed before. We'll write KBL here. So since the current is following like this, so we mark the polarities, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And now it will be easy for us to write the KVL. We starting from here to write a KVL equation. So minus LDIT DT, minus VCT, and minus RIT. After manipulation, we can write it like this. And now we put T is equal to 0. So it will be RI0, LDIDT 0 plus V0. And we know I0 10 amperes and V0 or capital V0, they are same, is 0 volt. So we plug in the values now here. Plugging in the values, we find di dt to be minus 50 amperes per second. So second step we have done. Third step, for t greater than 0, calculate alpha and omega. So for this circuit, alpha and omega. Alpha is R over 2L, you know R is 5 divided by 2 into 1, so 2.5 is alpha and omega is 3. Now here if you can see, okay step 4 based on alpha and omega we choose the equation, current equation. Now alpha is less than omega, alpha is less than omega means again as we have discussed alpha is less than omega so she is dancing and it, we have the cosine sine terms uh, for the it equation 
and as before we calculate WD and plugging in the values in the current equation this equation this is the general equation for current IT now we need to find A1 and A2 so we were here we put T is equal to 0 in this equation putting T is equal to 0 we get I0 is equal to A1 I hope you can follow t is equal to 0 cos 0 this is sin 0 and we had also found earlier a1 to be uh, sorry i0 to be 10 amperes therefore we can say that a1 is equal to 10 for the second part or a2 we have to take derivative again following the product rule taking the derivative just like before you can pause the video and do these steps yourself here. So we were here, now I'll put t is equal to 0. So putting t is equal to 0, we get this equation. And we had already calculated di dt also for minus 50. So we'll plug in this value here. Minus 50 is equal to this. We know the value of a1, 10. Plug again we get A2 to be minus 15.07 and so our final equation we plug in the values of A1 and A2 so this is the final equation so I hope uh, this uh, gives you an understanding as to how to solve this problem this type of problem thank you